Larvations are among the strangest organisms in the ocean. They are free-swimming open ocean tunicates that look like transparent tadpoles due to their oval-shaped body and long, flexible tail. The tail contains a central notochord. Larvations are common members of the zooplankton community and may be seen in huge swarms. They are different from most tunicates because their adult form resembles the larval tunicate form instead of the typical barrel-shaped adult tunicate that attaches to a hard surface. They retain their tadpole-like appearance throughout their entire life. They can be found all around the world, from the surface waters to the deep sea. Larvations can secrete proteins and sugars that assemble themselves into a mesh gelatinous net. In most larvation species, the net surrounds the animal like a bubble. The structure serves both as a house and a filter for food. A larvation will whip its muscular tail to create currents that channel things like bacteria, algae, and small particles. The current water first moves into the house through a coarse outer filter that captures particles too large for the larvation to eat. And then the particles go through a much finer filter before being directed to the mouth. Some larvations can filter more than 20 gallons of seawater per hour. The filters often become clogged, so the larvation leaves its food-clogged house, sometimes several times a day, to create a brand new net. They can start creating a new house while still in their old house. The new house is secreted in a condensed form as a gelatinous cap covering the anterior half of the larvation's trunk. The new house can be inflated within a few seconds, increasing its volume about 300 times. Larvations are typically small, with a body size of less than a half inch, but their houses can be substantially larger. For example, giant larvations can grow a few inches long, but their house may be inflated to over three feet wide. Abandoned houses collapse and sink, carrying the trapped particles with them. Large houses may sink as quickly as a half mile a day. Larvation houses make up a significant portion of the particulate matter known as marine snow that falls to the seafloor. The houses help take carbon to the depths of the ocean so that more carbon dioxide from the air can dissolve into the ocean. The houses become food for seafloor organisms or they become buried in the seafloor sediment. Larvation embryos develop fast and they become reproductive adults quickly. A young larvation may build its first house 12 to 20 hours after it's conceived. Most species are hermaphrodites. They reproduce sexually by releasing eggs and sperm into the sea, and die shortly after. Some species only live a few days. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.